by my frail feelings, Dazza. You wound me. I do not ask you to go there for my own benefit, but for yours. All right, where's some food at? Come on, guys. You made me any food? Because I am um, some eggs. That'll that'll do. Hey, everybody. What's going on? Welcome back to Dragon Quest Builders. These guys need to hurry up and cook me some more food because, man, I need some. So last time, we headed out uh, into the Hammerhood Village area thing, and we found this guy, Kenelm. Whoa, look at the size of this place. I had no idea this a city this big even existed. Well, you know, I don't like to toot my own horn, but this is a pretty big city. Just being here makes me feel so alive. I can't remember the last time I felt so full of energy. Thanks for bringing me here, Dazza. I suppose it's fitting that I end up living in Cantlin. Uh, my ancestors used to be guards here, so if you need someone to keep this place safe, you can count on me. Alright, so that means Rollo's going to help us, and now also Kenelm. Kenelm, I don't know. Hup, can I talk to you up there? No, am I going to have to come up there and get you? Whoop, hello. Now I can talk to you. Laroque. I don't even know how you're meant to pronounce this guy. It's either Laroc or LaRouche. I don't know. I'm just going to call him L-Dog. Ah, that's the same found that fellow I told you about, did you? Judging by that ridiculous hat, it seems he fancies himself as somewhat of a soldier. We don't need his kind here. I never should have told you about him. Hmm? What's wrong with soldiers, you ask? All I'll say is that bad things happen when people band together. Doubly so if they're looking for a fight. Do you have any idea what brought the city of Cantlin to ruin? Just take it from me. You really don't want to go making this town any bigger. Still, you're only trying to help. Here, Dazza, take this. You've earned it. Another seed of life. All right, let's bump up our hit points even more. Yum, yum, yum. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, Rollo wants us to start fighting. I want to... Hey, thanks for guarding the forge, buddy. I want to see... Oh, Copper Sword. Okay, we can't make anything else yet, so... Did I make, like, a, a shield last time? I don't think I can, so never mind. By my furry feet, Dazzler, it seems those vile monsters are planning another attack on our noble town. There are more of us than last time, and we have bigger and better weapons than before. But that doesn't mean we can let our guard down. So tell me, Dazzler, are you ready for battle? I sure am. Let's do it. I love the music as well when the battle starts. The big, like, brass. Alright, defeat the monsters. I think they normally come from this side still. Some brownies appear. Oh, we want to take these guys out quick. Ooh, ouch. Yeah, we want to take these guys out and just keep keep going around their attacks. Uh, we just don't... Ow. We just don't want them to uh, start attacking the city. Because they will attack the city. <sighs> and they like smashing things up. Get away from my beautiful home. Some chimeras up here. That's fine. We can get some like, more chimera wings. Oh. Uh, oh. Just managed to kill him there before he, he did badness. Oh, there's a clump of fur. Pick that up. And take these guys out. Two more monsters are going to appear. Oh, it's a big brownie. Oh, that's one. That's the last monster. Okay, if we all just focus him, he can't... Ow! <laughs> he can't do anything. Okay, there we go. Fantastic. Oh, what do we get for that? A leather sack. Oh, okay, cool. I know we need that for something later on. Sweet! Victory is ours! Victory is ours indeed. And we obtain another seed of a life. Fantastical. Om nom nom! We did it. That'll teach them. That could have gone worse. I'll think twice before trying that again. So, we have three people that currently want to talk to us. I think I'm going to talk to Pippa first. Thanks for getting rid of all those awful monsters again, Dazza, but if you got a moment, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. been having so much fun lately, spending the whole day making all kinds of different things, but when the night comes and we all go to bed, I just can't concentrate on my work with everyone around. So, Dazza, would you be able to make a room just for me? It would need some kind of sign on the wall so people would know it as mine. You're pretty clever, Dazza. I'm sure you'll be able to think of something. I'll need a straw mattress to sleep on, a pot in the corner, uh, yeah, sure, and make a special sign on the wall, please. Dazza, make a room of my own. Hmm, sure thing. I'll just, ah, yeah, I know exactly the thing. We learned uh, what, uh, how to make a lady sign. A rich red sign to signify the denizen of dwelling. Uh, a place inside a room, or when placed inside a room, it can be used to assign it to a female resident. Also got the same thing for a, a gentleman sign. We also get an inn sign, uh huh, and a fantastic shop sign. Uh, shows the shop sells items, which actually doesn't sell items, but whatever. Uh, Rollo, what do you say? Hmm. I thought we taught those monsters a lesson, but they keep coming back for more. As I feel, it is my duty to find a means of defending this town from these vile beasts. I've spent so many late nights working tirelessly on deciphering the Cantlin Chronicle. I've hardly slept a wink. 
It makes mention of a great castle beyond the Hammerhoods village, beyond even the Cantlin Mountains. It's said that the castle had a great stone stockade capable of fending off even the most brutal of assaults. Travel to this castle, Dazza. Find it with your compass and then learn the secrets of... Yeah, I can't get it, dude. What, what, what do you say? What, what did your last slave die of? By my frail feelings, Dazza. You wound me. I do not ask you to go there for my own benefit, but for yours. Man, he is really animated there. Like, dude, get your eyeball off my goggles. After all, you are not are you not the builder, the legendary figure who is destined to save us all? Now do your duty and get out there, com uh, compass in hand, and find out how to build that stone stockade. Fine. All right, Canel. Dazza, is it true what Rollo told me? You're the builder, the actual legendary builder. I've heard all about you. I always thought it was some sort of strange that there'd be a hero who didn't get stronger by beating monsters. But Dazza, what if I told you that there was a special trick that would make you better at fighting? Behind the Hammerhood village, just at the foot of the mountains, there's a monster who uses a really strange attack. If you could defeat that monster, I bet you could learn. Uh, be, I bet you'd be able to learn its technique for yourself. Use your compass to find it and give that beast the hiding of its life. Right. We have a lot of stuff to do, but for now, I'm going to put away all my junk. Okay, so we've got food. We have stuff to heal with, I think. Uh, we don't, actually. So, you know what? I'm going to quickly convert all of my petals. I, that's such a weird... I don't think I've ever said that before. We'll make a bunch of healing cream, just in case we need to heal. Uh, it's now about to be night time, so I think what I'm going to do... Uh, is actually start on Pippa's request, and then in the morning we will head out and do Kenelm's request. Although, since it's quite dark now, you know, we only need like a small room for Pippa, so let's grab some earth. It doesn't need to be something too incredible. In fact, I can probably knock down this wall and, and put it here. It's 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 only going to be temporary anyway, because I'm going to sort of figure out how I want my city to look, and then do it another time, so um, it only needs to be small. Just like that, this is actually in the way. Boom, dead, gone. And let's pop it down there. In fact, I'm pretty sure we need a light source anyway, so... Can I make a sconce yet? I believe I can. Oh, shut up. I want to build. Thank you very much. I can't. Okay, no, I want to build. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I can make a sconce. Okay, I'm going to make one of them. Uh, what else do we need? We need a, a, a straw door, indeed. Oh, we can make... We can make stone stairs again. I forgot about that. We need a mattress. We don't have any more of those in the base. That's fine. Uh, and what was it? A pot? We can make a pot. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. And also a lady sign. We need some magic dye for that. That is made through cooking. Go around here. Give that a bit of a, a, a bubble. Of, oh, we don't have any orange oil. Do you reckon I could quickly go, even though it's nighttime, and get that? Hmm... It's only one. It's only one. Let's see if we can quickly grab it. Okay, teleportal away. And just the first blue slime we see. Oh, uh, not blue slime, orange slime. Well, I mean, like, there's one. Okay. Took a while for one to spawn near us, but it's also nighttime now, which is bad. Got it. Alright, head back. Go to bed before our base c comes under attack. And through we go. Alright, sweet. Let's see if we can get to bed before we get attacked. Uh, and in the bed. There we go. Sweet. So yeah, if your base is under attack, then uh, you can't go to sleep. You have to kill the monsters that are in the base before you can go to sleep. Which is makes sense, I guess. Okay. Righty-ho. Wakey-wakey. Um, let's see if they actually made one. No, they made some eggs. So the more people you have in your town, uh, the more stuff they will make. Obviously, because the the more of them there are, then the, the more opportunities they will have to go and, and do something. So, but I believe we now have enough to make the... Oh, wait, what? Are you kidding me? I, <laughs> we need another... Wait, did I look at the wrong sign? Did we need magic dye as well? We did. At least I didn't mess that bit up. Alright, I should have taken notice of that. We need another orange dye. So, let's go and grab another one. Gosh, what am I like? I'm the worst. Okay. Uh, where are you? Spawn close by. There's two of them over there. You know what? We're going to need more orange dye eventually anyway. I thought that said I have a feeling there, not I love climbing. Okay, and kill them. 
Oh, daffodil daisy, daisy buds. I don't think those actually have any use. Like, obviously, you can plant the flowers and they'll grow again, but, like, when you plant them, they, I mean, they make nice pretty flowers, but when you break them, you get these petals and they don't have any use as far as I'm aware. This skeleton can go away. Go away. Leave me alone. Go away. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm going through here. You are not following me. Okay, so we got the orange oil we needed. Let's finish up Pippa's request and then do Ken Elm's request. Yes. Uh, why am I in here? I have no idea. Let's go back over to the place where I meant to be. In fact, what did you guys build me yesterday? Ooh, we got some we got some brick wall. Ah, okay. Another chest and some Okay, pretty neat. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. I want to build. That's one of my gripes in this game, is the fact that when it when I want to do something, it won't let me. Okay, so. Uh, in our little room here, we're gonna pop a door. Uh, we are gonna put a pot down. We're gonna put a lady sign above the pot. We are going to put a mattress down. And of course, to finish it off, a room has to have a light source. And this will make a private bedroom. A simple single bedroom where an individual can sleep in peace. Can be assigned as a resident's private room. You get a lot of points for that as well, actually. And we will assign it to Pippa. There you go. Pippa, you are welcome. You just ran straight past me. You didn't... Wow, look at that. So even though it's a private room, I can still go in it. I can still sleep in here if I wanted to. But uh, Pippa is the only person that will use this out of the other residents. Hooray, you made me a room from, of my very own. Thank you, Dazza. Kanelm spends the whole night plodding around the city and Laroque keeps screaming in his sleep. Arolo snores so loudly I'm scared the walls will collapse. I can't concentrate at all on my super secret project. Huh? What's my super secret project? Hee hee hee. That's a super secret, silly. But don't worry, I'll tell you when it's ready. Oh, and it would be really great if you could write my name on the sign in this room. Thank you already done that okay so how much long we got today mm, we've been going for 12 minutes so I think we have time to try Canelm's request so let's head on through the blue teleportal and see if we can find that monster which he was wait was it even through this one it, I think it was I can't actually remember Ooh, you know what I I'm pretty, I'm pretty certain it was. Yeah, because it's past wherever Canelm was. Yeah, it's the, um... Oh, what was it? <laughs> I'm trying to think where the castle was. I'm pretty sure the castle isn't through any teleportal. I can't remember. There's quest markers for that kind of stuff. So let's head on this way. We have some, uh... Some wings to get us back home, which is going to be fine. So it means we just need to get there and then get back. So... Quite weirdly, um, oh, I say quite weirdly, that was a bit bizarre. Am I not wearing any armor? Okay. Um, when I did this mission on my own playthrough, I didn't have any monsters spawning. Oh, have I gone the wrong way? I've gone the complete wrong way. Um, you know what? I'm going to just go back around there. Yeah, when I did this mission, mission on my own, um, through my own playthrough, uh, all my monsters stopped spawning, and I had to, like, reset the game to make them spawn again. But what was really interesting was the fact that there's obviously a boss monster we've now got to go and defeat. And when I went into the arena to, to face it, it wouldn't spawn. It, it came up with the battle music, and... Ah! <laughs> it came up with the battle music and then the, the, the little icon that said, Defeat all the monsters, but the monsters didn't spawn. So I was like, what the heck? I tried sleeping nearby, I tried lots of different things, but it just wouldn't spawn. It was really rather bizarre. How am I meant to get up? I can get up over here. Okay, cool. Let's carry on going this way. I really went a wrong way, didn't I? Oh, there's a little cave. I wonder if, if we can go through here. Oh, this looks bad. Uh, is that going to be anything worthwhile in here? Or is it just going to be ores we can collect at another date? Uh, it's just ores, really. Okay. So, uh, this is uh, taking me a little bit longer than I thought. Blue slime, go away, please. I'm going to have to head up these cliffs, I think. Let's try and fadangle my way through. Let's bash these out. Bash that out. Climb up. And climb up there. Fantastic. Look at me go. I've gone about this a really weird way, haven't I? Leave me alone. I... Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's off those cliffs over there, but I can't remember exactly. <laughs> oh, man. I'm getting so turned around at the moment. 
Okay. Um, you know what? We ah no, it's here. Haha. <laughs> I remember. This is the arena down there. Okay. So before we get started, I want to have some healing cream, but obviously I don't have any on me. So luckily, uh, before we go in there. Uh oh. Never mind. We're going in there. <laughs> uh, let's get rid of everything we don't need. Um, our hunger is all right. We just need to heal, really. We'll just take out, like, two of them. Okay, eat it. Thank you. That's got us healed. So this is the Iron Scorpion. It's a bit of a pain. Uh, but as long as we can take out these Chimeras first, there's the move which we're going to be learning, the spin attack. And I like attacking while jumping. I don't know if you guys picked up on that, because you can sort of, like, um, dodge while you attack, basically. Okay, he's going to fire some fire. It's fine. So the scorpion is a bit of a pain in the butt to beat, especially the iron one. It's got a lot more defense um, than a regular scorpion, but we haven't even seen a regular scorpion yet. And it's got a lot more hit points as well. But you just attack it and just jump away. Whoop, ouch, that hurt. Okay, turn around, wait for it to spin. Ow, it got me. Okay, that actually hurt. Okay, what's it going to do next? There we go. Oh, I walked into it. You know what? Not going to risk it. I'll take some healing cream. Thank you. There we go. The iron, uh, the iron scorpion is dead. And let's use a chimera wing to fly back to base. Fantastic. That was pretty helpful. All right. So, I think I'm going to call things quits there, guys. Thank you all very much for watching this episode of Dragon Quest Builders. We built a private room for Pippa. We defeated the scorpion. And uh, Kanelm is going to be, <clears throat> excuse me, very happy. Br that's brilliant, apparently. So next time, we will talk to Kanelm, and we will see what he wants us to do now that we've defeated the Scorpion. And then we will do Rollo's request. Maybe, maybe see what Pippa wants as well. So thank you all very much for watching. I will, of course, see you all in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all then. Bye-bye. <laughs>